Hello, I'm Dr. Vincent Piguet. I'm a dermatologist at Women's College Hospital where we have a specialized consultation for patients suffering from HS. The Canadian Skin Patient Alliance is launching a campaign about HS and ahead of the HS Awareness Week. Um, I've been asked to tell you about what is HS. Well, first of all, HS stands for Hydradenitis suppurativa. Hydradenitis suppurativa is a chronic inflammatory skin disease that is characterized by recurrence of episodes of boils and scarring that can affect many parts of the body. Typically, HS or Hydradenitis suppurativa can affect the folds. However, there are variants of the condition that can, other, can, that can affect other parts of the body, including the legs, the back, and uh, the abdomen, and many other areas. Hydradenitis suppurativa is a chronic skin disease that is quite challenging to manage. It is very difficult for patients as it causes a lot of pain as well as scarring. In addition to the pain and the scarring, those boils can also discharge and drain, which is also implying that patients will have to change dressings a lot, which is another difficult side of that condition. One of the challenges that patients face also quite often uh, when they have the symptoms of HS is that perhaps they may not be diagnosed very quickly. There is often a very long delay between the first symptoms, which can be just one boil in an area, to the full extent of the disease that may, in some patients, not in all patients, but that may progress to affect many areas of the body. At that point, often the diagnosis can be made, and often it is made by a specialist, by a dermatologist. However, during the first episode and the encounter with the specialist and perhaps a slightly more obvious presentation of the disease, this can take many years. One of the challenges in HS is we know that there are many areas of unmet needs. First of all, the scientists, the, the researchers, do not fully understand the disease yet. We have made less advances in the field of hydradenitis when compared to perhaps some other skin diseases that are also relatively common like psoriasis. However, multiple things can help patients with hydradenitis suppurativa. We know that lifestyles such as excessive weight and smoking can contribute quite greatly to the disease. So maintaining a healthy lifestyle and balancing the diet um, is, is an important element in the treatments. The treatments for HS will often involve a variety of approaches that can include things like antibiotics and newer treatments such as biologics. They are antibodies that can help reduce the inflammation in the body. Finally, surgery in some patients may be necessary in order to make real progress and remove areas that are draining too much, for instance. So one question we get quite a lot is, well, how common is that condition? We did some studies um, about a year or two ago that were published in the British Journal of Dermatology, and we identified that actually about 1% of the population may be experiencing uh, symptoms of HS. However, I have to mention that the numbers can vary quite a bit from study to study, so more research needs to be done in this area. I hope that this short video will be useful in answering the question, what is HS? And I hope it will contribute to raising the awareness for this challenging condition that is affecting the lives of many Canadians.